Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna start doing weekly favorites videos again. I am so excited. I hope I hope that they're gonna be Friday favorites and fails if I ever have fails. But please just bear with that schedule because sometimes I might not be able to post right on Friday. I am a stay-at-home mom with two little girls. So I'm gonna try really hard though. So I'm so excited to just share with you and chat with you every week in addition to my other videos, but just chat with you and share with you just what I've been up to and what I've been loving and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with my favorites this week. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen my stories or my posts. I went to Minnesota for the weekend with, we packed up the girls, we packed up my husband and the dogs, and we went back to my in-laws. They live in Minnesota. They live about an hour or so away from like the Mall of America, Minneapolis, good shopping stuff. So on Saturday, we left the girls at gran grandma and grandpa's house and they watched them. And my husband and I got a day date and we went up to the cities, Minneapolis, the cities, and we went shopping. We didn't go to the Mall of America this time because it's just kind of a lot just to do in one day. But we did go to some outlet malls and just to some other malls. It was just so fun to get away. That was the first time my husband and I have been like on a whole day date since I was pregnant with Sophia and we had our baby moon. <laughs> and she's now seven months old. I ended up going to Sephora and I had a mini makeover is what they call it. I think that's what they call it. Basically it's just a 15 to 20 minute little application. I think you can choose from like a complexion mini makeover or like eye look or I don't even know what else. But I just had a complexion one because I was just having a really bad makeup day when I put my makeup on that morning as we were driving to go shopping all day and I just didn't like it and so I called Sephora I'm like can I have an appointment to you know basically can you fix my makeup <laughs> it was one of those makeups where you're not like in your home setting so you don't have like the best light or the best setup and so it looked good when I was doing my makeup in the bathroom at my in-laws house and then I got in the car and looked in in the the mirror and I'm like oh my god I need this is not good <laughs> you guys ever have days like that so anyway I got a mini makeover and they used some products on me that I'm obsessed with and I've already placed orders to receive the full-size bottles and some that are on my wish list and I cannot wait to get I'm trying not to buy everything at once I'm trying to be a lot more curated and intentional with my purchases this year. That story brings me to my first favorite. And you know what? I just realized I forgot to tell you about my actual first favorite and that's my new haircut. If you don't follow me on Instagram, um, I did get my haircut even shorter and my husband called it my mom haircut. I got home, I'm like, do you like my new hair? It's like, yeah, I love your mom, your new mom haircut. <laughs> so it is just this style. I don't know if you would just call it a bob or a pixie bob because it is kind of shaved a little bit in the back, not too much, just because my hairline goes down quite a bit. Um, she did shave it just a little bit. It's okay, Opal. It's my dog barking at somebody outside. Anyway, so yeah, that was my first favorite. I'm so like all over the place, but sorry. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I got my hair cut and I'm just really loving it. I love to wear it straight. I actually haven't even curled it yet. Um, I just got it cut last week, but I love just spraying a crap ton of dry shampoo and texture spray, back combing a little bit, and I just, I love it. It's super easy, and I think it looks a lot better with the same or less effort than it, it does when it's longer. So that's what I'm all about these days, living the mom life. Let's get back to the Sephora and what they gave me for samples and then what I I placed orders for. So the first, let's talk about foundation. So I am wearing this today and I've worn it a few times since and I think it's so beautiful and it wears so well. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And this is what they applied on me for my mini makeover. <laughs> I think that's such a cute mini makeover. It is very, very be beautiful it's to me it definitely can be built up to like a full coverage not like the fu most fullest mask like 
coverage that you're ever going to get in a foundation. But it is a full, it can be a full coverage and it's just, it's beautiful. It's said so well. If you're not familiar, which I say, I talk about it all the time. I feel like I do have dry skin. I am 33, so I'm getting older and I really have to be a lot more conscious about my complexion products. My face just cannot seem to tolerate a whole lot or as good it just can't it can't I just can't beat the face like I used to I used to be able to just pack on a powder it doesn't matter what foundation really um but now as I'm getting older and apparently more dry it's just I have to be a very very careful this is beautiful and I ordered the the bottle um the sample that they gave me is shade 2 Mont, Mont Blanc probably saying that wrong what I ordered a different shade because this shade was described as fair with neutral undertones and it is a good match but it does i'm gonna brush for my hair or a brush for my hair a hair for my brush anyway i i think it turns just a tad pink and i'm so selective and so picky about that so i did order the shade i think it's siberia i'll uh, list it below the full size shade that i ordered because it was described as a fair with a warm or yellow undertone which is what i usually go for in foundations so anyway i'm so excited to have it and because i don't have very many foundations you guys know i did a massive declutter i feel like i talk about that all the time too i did a massive declutter and i just don't have a whole lot and i love now that i'm back on youtube just love testing out more stuff and just reviewing it and sharing it with you guys so I'm just glad to have a foundation that actually works for me because I've it's been really hard to find one that works so so well so my next favorite is a product that I used they had me put on before they did my foundation so I took my makeup off at my mini makeover and they put on the Dr. Jarts Ceramiden Ceramiden cream and I just had the sample I'll put a picture of what of what these look like because I only have the samples right now now this I did also order a full size tube I think it was like $48 which is I feel, I feel like it's kind of a mid-range price for a cream it comes in a tube and this stuff if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin any skin that's not oily skin and you just feel like your makeup does not well um, wear well you need to try this and the next product that I'm going to talk about and get a sample and you're going to love it. This just, I don't know what it does. It, it just attracts all the moisture. It like gathers up all the moisture somehow in my skin and it just hydrates the crap out of it and it makes the makeup go on so, so, so well. And she just used this and then she went in with the foundation and she didn't use a primer or anything and it was beautiful and it the foundation wore so well all day by the way she did apply this with um a brush uh, one of their sephora i think it was like the 55 or 56 brush I'll, I'll link it below for you to check out but then i like to apply it with a brush is fine but uh beauty blender is very beautiful as well and this this foundation and another reason why it's a winner for me is because it doesn't take a whole t a lot of time to blend it in or to bounce it in with the beauty blender. If you're using a beauty blender, it's fast. You know what I mean? Some foundations, they take a lot of work and you have to really work it in and, you know, switch between a brush and a beauty blender. And this is just easy with a brush or with a beauty blender. I think I do prefer the beauty blender with that. But another sample they gave me is... I've used it before and I actually remember training on it when I worked at Sephora. If you guys remember I worked at Sephora for about a year. I think this was like in 2013, so over five or six years ago. And I remember training on this product and I was so disgusted by it at the time. And I'm still a little bit disgusted by it, but also like that's freaking cool. It's disgusting and really awesome all at the same time. And I just have the sample here. And I did not order the full size of this just because it is a little bit more expensive. Um, but it is on my wish list. And I, when I spend more money and purchase another Sephora order or make another Sephora order, I'll probably end up getting it. But you guys got to get a sample of it because it's awesome. It's the Peter Thomas Roth Farm X 
healing gel. So basically you put it on and you can test it on your hand too. I remember that's how we trained with Sephora. We tested it on our hand. It literally, it must, I think it's a chemical exfoliator. It literally eats away all the dead crap on your skin and it peels off and you can see it and it's disgusting and it's fantastic all at the same time. So we're talking about when you're done and then you rinse it off, you have the cleanest, smoothest skin with nothing on it. No dead skin, no anything. It is pretty magical. So definitely get a sample of that. I think the full size product is like $68, so kind of expensive. But I think it's a, one of those products where you don't have to use a whole lot. I mean, I've used a sample a few times, just one of these little sample pots. I've used it a few times already and like I, I can still get more uses out of it. So you, the two, what I'm trying to say, long story short, short story long, is you can use a little bit and the tube will last you a long time. So it's expensive, but per use, if you want to amortize the cost per use, it's probably kind of low. <laughs> On my Instagram, I do get a lot of questions about my nail polish. And I most of the time am wearing KL Polish, which is Kathleen Lights's brand and I just wanted to give you a little PSA that I think the business well I know she did announce the business is going out it's closing so I highly recommend that if you are interested in nail polish at all go on the site and order some shades they have some left this is the shade that I'm wearing right now it's called Zoe they have it as I'm filming this video they have it in like the special edition packaging. This is such a beautiful, just mauve, dusty rose. And the formula and the brush on this, on this nail polish is my favorite. Ever since it launched, I have not purchased any other nail polish brands. It's just so good. It's easy, I don't know, just how the brush is, it just fits the nail bed so well. It makes it so easy to paint your nails. So just go check out. I think their stock is running low on the colors but some I just grabbed a couple of my favorites to show you this one is Jane it's so pretty like a muted I don't even know what you would describe that as and then cafe disco is a nude but it has a little bit of subtle very subtle sparkle like silver sparkles not sparkles but just a sheen to it and it's beautiful so go check that out if you're a nail polish lover and grab what you can before they're all gone and then next i have to talk about these shoes i was going to put these shoes in a month my monthly favorites but i don't know if they'll still be in stock by then so i just decided i would share with you today so these are from Target. The brand is A New Day, and these are blush little sneakers, and they're so cute. They run true to size. They're pretty comfortable. I mean, they're not like an A6 running shoe, and I definitely would not work out in these shoes just because they're not that much support, but I do like to have, it's kind of gross, because these are only my day shoes, or my what, what do I call them? My house shoes. <laughs> I do wear shoes around the house that I don't wear outside of the house just because, you know, I'm a mom. I'm on my feet doing dishes, whatever, cooking, holding babies and stuff like that. So I need a little bit of support during the day because um, it kind of, in my feet really, my body aches at the end of the day if I don't wear like a little sneaker or something. So I just like something cute to throw on with an outfit and these are $35. They do come in other colors. And I just think the blush ones are so cute. And I think I said they fit pretty true to size. Ever since I've been pregnant, my feet are a little bit on the wide side, like a medium to wide. Uh, these are just regular medium width and they fit perfect. They almost even stretched out to form to my foot a little bit. I might consider putting in a, like a jelly insole just to make them even more comfortable. But definitely check them out. I mean, for the price, you can't beat them for like a little fashion sneaker i mean you're not going to want to go run like a marathon in these shoes because i don't think they'll last that long or be that that comfortable for you but i had to show those to you and my last favorite is this personal planner they did send this to me and i was able to they gave me a gift card or gift code and i was able to pick out and customize my planner so it was really fun doing that. So I'm just, I've only been using it for like the last, 
actually just the last week because that's when I got it. <laughs> I kept mine really simple. I love the size of this. They have a lot of different sizes, but I just chose the one that was about this size. <laughs> Here's a Sephora bag. Here's this, so you can see the size difference. And I just love it. I just I got I got the pink with my name and the year. You can customize, like you can upload a picture. If it's a good quality picture, you can upload it and it could be your cover and you can or your back. You can really customize. You can customize like the top little print. I have just these little flowers here. This is like what the week weeks look like. This is how I customized it anyway. So it's just lined and you can do you can add customization for times if you want. I don't like that. So I just did the lines. So it also comes with this plastic just like a little page like a little sleeve and it also comes with stickers so I don't use the stickers too much I love them but I just always forget to use them <laughs> so it does come with a sheet of stickers and then you can put them right in there or put whatever else you want in there I love personal planner this is not the first one I have I've had I've had a few over the years but this is my favorite so far just because of the size of it it's not the other ones I had were way thicker and a lot bigger this one is pretty thick still but I just love like it just goes so easy I don't know I just really love it and if you need a planner or you're a planner person and you want to customize I love they have the option to customize it or you can just get a more basic one which is what I went for so that's everything I wanted to share with you and thank you so much for taking the time to just chit chat with me about my trip to Minnesota and my shopping and my mini makeover at Sephora and I'm so excited to be doing these Friday favorites for you. Also wanted to let you guys know that I did post, I just posted a Sephora haul last week, but I will be posting another one because like I said, we, I went shopping and I, yeah, I went shopping. So I'm going to have another kind of large Sephora haul coming soon. I'm going to film that this weekend. And then I also shop, when I was shopping, I picked up some clothes and I ordered some clothes because as I'm losing weight I needed to size down one and especially in tops. I think I'm going to do a clothing haul so let me know if that's something you would be interested in and I will definitely do that for you. I think that'd be super fun just to see what I picked up. Thank you again so much for watching and just taking the time to hang out. Leave your favorites down below so I can chat with you guys and have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.